Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Keep your distance from negative people. Keep your distance. You know something, and this is something I've seen. I've, I've seen, I, I, I see it a bit more with, uh, you know, the advent of social media, but I've definitely seen it in the uh, real world since I was little. You ever have a group of people, they come together and they might be discussing some positive things and having fun laughing, or it could be a very serious conversation in a positive direction. And then you get that one person that come in, they got throwing negative stuff and that in a positive way. Like if you, if you, if you discussing a project or some vision and someone comes in and says, well, okay, yeah, we can, we have that, but then these are some problems that can get in the way. Okay. But then when you have someone else come in and say, oh, y'all can't do that. You know, you can't do that. Oh, it's over. Or they come in the circle or something and, you know, they always on some negative thoughts or saying stuff negative. And, you know, especially in the age of social media, you see it. Anybody who with, I mean, anything, a YouTube channel, Twitter account, a bunch of other social media platforms where people can comment, there's always someone who comes in with some negative thoughts. Some negative thoughts. Even, I mean, the subject matter uh, could be the most positive thing in the world and somebody come in with a negative thought. Not a critical thought, a negative thought. And indeed, that's just on one level. I mean, we've all encountered people who, they just had a negative presence about them. It was just like very... I don't know, just they don't, you don't feel good around them. And it can actually bring your energy down. See, one thing, when people are around other people, they tend to, their energy, their presence, their frequencies tend to match up in order to communicate with that person. You know, and sometimes, you know, they say don't go down to a person's level, but sometimes it might happen anyway. Because just to communicate with that person. Now, the person with the negative energy and everything, well, there's two types of them. Some just need some legitimate help, and it's a screen for help, but some are just negative. Those are the main ones. The people who are asking for help or something like legitimate help, help them as best as possible. And even they, they're not negative. Because, they're not really negative. Because the people asking for help, they at least feel like there's some help there. They just need help, and you give it to them. But you got some people, they, they, they want to be contrary or negative just because. They actually, you get some people, they actually get a pleasure from being negative. You know, you could be that type of person, you're doing very well in your life, and you get somebody trying to bring you down. Or, you know, or you say positive things about people, but, you know, they try to come at you. And, and you know, you can't be around that. Because if you're around it long enough, it can start affect, affecting you. Indeed, there's an even worse combination than being around a single negative person, and that's a multitude of them. Many people, many people out here are in some negative spaces, whether it's an online space or a personal space. Or, well, not as personal, but in the real world. You know, it could even be a job that you're working on. It could be the neighborhoods you're living in. You got to keep your distance as best as possible. Now, sometimes, yeah, what if it is your neighborhood? What if it is your job? Sometimes you got to still keep as much of a distance from that, you know, the situation as possible. I mean, you just really have to work on it. Now, sometimes you might have to find, if you can't automatically leave that presence, then you have to really be strong within yourself and indeed find people who, other people who might be thinking and behaving in a more positive manner. But, I mean, the thing is, you can't. I mean, people can get hurt. I, I've seen it. Haven't we all seen those situations? It could be on a job. It could be in a church or some organization, and all of a sudden a negative person is either fired or they leave. All of a sudden things just seem different. Everything starts seeing different then. Haven't we all seen that? At least once in our lives? That's because some people just have a negative energy. And like I said, 
unfortunately, some people get uh, they get a pleasure from it. You know, they cause trouble because they get a pleasure from it. They feel like it's a power thing. And you know what? You don't need that. You don't need that. I'm going to tell you what. A lot of stress from people, a lot of sickness is caused from stress. And a negative person can stress you out, which means they can literally make you sick. Is that what you want? You can't have that. You you have you have people you're responsible for. You have a life you want to live. Do you want to be around that type of person? Because think about the opposite of positive people. There have been um, people who've... Uh, really get gotten well from being extremely sick. They could be in a hospital or something, but they had so many positive people around them, they feel better. You know, it's, it, it's that level of behavior is, is so prominent as far as how, you know, a person's behavior can affect you. Like I said, when you're around them, even subconsciously, you're, you're adapting to them. Even if you try to raise them to your energy level, your level of positivity, they might not be going. And like I said, you get those people, I got to say again, those people who live off of that uh, negative energy. Oh, no, I don't care what you do. They're going to find something. You just got to keep them away. Keep your distance. I'm going to tell you what, the way the world, the world is built for those with positive attitudes. It's built for it. Because that person with a positive attitude, even when they go through some bad stuff, they keep their head up. They keep their faith, uh, whatever it takes. And because they're thinking positive, but negative people, it's, I mean, it's to the point, even the envir- if you look at the physical environment some negative people are in and they come from, even that is, uh, shall we say, not ideal. I mean, this is a real thing. This is, this is a real thing. Like, keep your distance. And I know sometimes you're around that person, you know, they they could be a relative, they could be a friend. You need to question. Sometimes, you know, our blood family isn't our spiritual family. That's just a reality, you know. So you got to think about that. Find that spiritual family that's positive. And the friend, let's just be real. Your friend, any friends that you have should be an asset to you. Whenever you're around them, even when they're giving you some tough love, it should be to make you a better person. If that's not happening, if that person is breaking you down, that's not your friend. So I'm going to tell you what. Definitely, whatever you got to do, keep your distance from negative people, okay? So I want you to really think about that. Um, If you're online, stay out of negative spaces. As soon as they show it, roll. Don't deal with it, okay? So anyway, I want you to really think on what I'm saying, and I want everybody to keep rising. Peace and blessings.